Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Fun. Whoa, I've been playing Final Fantasy 2 way too long. Hello, and welcome back to Link's Awakening DX. Uh, we are now at Tail Cave. Previously, we got the key and started the game. So, let's continue. Level 1, Tail Cave. Alright, so there's levels in this game. Whoa, crap, I didn't have my shield up. That's one way to start. Death. Yeah, basically, if I'm correct, you just bang these guys off the edge. And there you go. You got a key. First key of the game. And crap. Flames and choo-choos. You've got the compass. Now you can see where the chests and nightmares are hidden. Yeah, in this game, they are not called bosses. They are called nightmares, which is rather weird. But, well, I'm okay with it. A uh, tone will tell you if a key is hidden in a room when you enter. Okay. Well, there's not one hidden in this room anymore. There was. I missed. Crap. And rupees. Okay. What the heck? How do you miss something like that? It's a button. Okay. Let's go ahead and start this again. More rupee. Okay, press the button this time. And there's your another key. Got two of them now. Let's go in this door real quick. Kill the bats. And now I got a guardian acorn. That's nice. Oh well. And that's your first glimpse at the boss of this dungeon. And I got 20 rupees. Sweet. My joy. Sorry. And that wall looks a bit weird, doesn't it? We can move those blocks with the power of our shield. And go through this door. Go this way. And do not touch those. They s take away your health if I'm correct. Crap, what the heck? Little choo-choo bad. And in order to get past here, you have to give this thing its beak back. Which I'm not really sure where it's at. But you can't understand it because it has no beak. So let's go find that beak. Okay. That was easy. Let's go to the right this time. And open this chest. We got another key. And there was another chest up there. And I think we have to go up this way. And I was wrong. Crap. Go kill a skeleton thing. Alright, go this way. Quit jumping, you stupid. Alright, and here is the beak room. Basically, you smack this card, and yeah, I already messed up. Two of them were different. When all three are the same, you get the beak. You found a stone beak. Let's find the owl statue that belongs to it. Turn aside one spin. A spin one's with a shield. 
Okay. How about instead we go back to the owl we've already seen? Like right up there. So when I was doing a walkthrough of this instead of a let's play, I got like only four parts done. So hopefully I can get the rest of this game done. If there is a door that you can't open, move a stone block. Wow. Okay then. The spinned ones by smacking with your shield. This is mu this must be what they were talking about, because they spun into me. Turn aside the spinned ones with a shield. Yep. Spined one, not spin ones. And yeah, this is 2D. Weird. No jumping. Unless you get a special item. Ah, uh, crap. We well, get to still use your uh, shield and sword here. So that's good. And keep going. There's a heart, but it's floating in the air. And here we got the rock's feather. It feels like your body is a lot lighter. Let's go ahead and equip it. Yeah, you're able to jump now. Like, to get that. And you can jump in here. Okay. If that's not a Mario reference, I don't know what is. It's a Goomba. You can even jump on it, see? Alright. So instead of going the long way, you can now jump across those little patches. So. That was lame. Going this way. Because I do remember a part right over here. See? And our first boss. Or mini boss. This one's really easy. You basically jump over it. And then just spam hit this guy. See? Done right then and there. And there's a little checkpoint. Basically, if you die in the dungeon, you can take this waypoint all the way here. And there's the nightmares room, but we do not have a key yet. We gotta go find it. Where is thou key? It's definitely not here. Okay, so let's go find that key. Ow. Don't need to do that again. Sometimes getting the nightmare key can be really complicated. But then again, other times it's not really complicated at all. And it said if you can't get through a room, usually you have to move a stone. I don't see it. What's wrong with you? Lying owl. Bad owl. Okay, let's go back here. Apparently you gotta come back when you get bombs. Oh crap, I forgot to go with this entire path. You got a piece of power. Yay. Now you can see what it does. Basically, it can one hit kill any of your basic enemies. Alright, let's see what's in here. At last, you got a map. Press the start button to look at it. And now we can go through this area. Still, 
I need to find my nightmare key. Which should be above here. Oh crap. How am I supposed to get over there? I don't think you can jump. Let's see if I can go this way. Yes, I can. There it is. Now you can open the door to the Nightmare's Lair. Let's do this. Crap, gotta go around. This suck. Sadly, this doesn't one-hit KO uh, bosses. Otherwise, I'd get this and then head for a boss's lair and be like, hey, 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 you're about to die. And here's our boss. Buzz, buzz, outside. Outsider. All you gotta do is attack its tail. It will spaz out. And then I die. I had low health anyway. Now that I have the Nightmare Key, this is easy to get to. And, yeah, they repeat everything they say whenever you have to restart. And, there we go. And every single time he gets faster uh, after you hit him. But all you really have to do is jump, dodge around. And smack his tail. Don't fall over the edge if you can stop from doing that. You should be good. And after four hits, he is down. Got a heart container. And our first instrument. You got the full moon uh, cello. I'm pretty sure that should be cello, but cello. Alright, let's play music. Swamp. A path opens. And the blooms. So, that is it for this video. In the next video, we will be headed to the swamp, apparently. See you next time.